welcome to my channel um today we're going to be doing a virtual doll review if you haven't seen my miss royale please do and um so pretty much i talked about how i've just recently got started into omg dolls and i do like them so i'm doing them by order from my favorite and this is the first one i ever collected was the dance dolls and um yeah so Miss Rose is my first viewer. She was the first doll to ever get me an OMG dolls. And I liked her also. She's like my second favorite on this line. And yeah, let's just get into the video. So just like the same box. Looks like a TV. Says dance three times. Outrageous millennial girls by a little surprise. 15 surprises. We know that's a lie. Unbox fashion. Dress me. She's a black light doll. I'll show you that feature at the end of the video. Has the little buttons. It says her name. If you take her to the side, this is her name, Virtuelle. And Miss Royale's was like a lavender kind of color. Hers is like this green technicolor with the little, her name like glitching. Then the back where it says all the different TV channels. Has the little plug in the design, the design. And then it has the Let's Be Friends, their hashtag, Instagram, and their YouTube channel. Then it has all four of the girls. And yeah, and I guess it's, I, did I say lavender? I guess this is like a magenta. But <laughs> it has a little notch thing at the top. And then a lot of people don't look because they're OMG dolls. At the bottom tells you everything comes with. Cause see right here, this is not 15 stuff. This is Apparently this is 15, but this is really like, talking about five fashion dolls already dressed, but whatever. So, I'm gonna just um, slip her plastic film off. And that's the fun part. Oh, I'm sorry. It's slow. This is the picture of her, her visor, her little high up ponytail with the rest down. Her outfit and I'm like I said in the first video I don't I'm not taking this off because I keep my boxes and I know he pulled this tab she's dancing but it comes like that in the book anyway and only if you go on the OMG website it shows the the art dancing I like it like this so let's slide it off get to the doll I really love her I love her skin tone I'm glad like this is what I really appreciate about MGA because with darker skin dolls you have to really be careful what color you put on them because they can make them look bad really easily compared to fair skin dolls. And I appreciate how they took the time so that, because they know they wanted neon colors for her, but I appreciate they took the time and was like, okay, this goes good because this is like magenta because they use magenta eyeshadow and other colors that complemented her really dark skin tone. And it's really pretty. And so this is the doll, her little dance guide. Her little fashion bag and then a little hat box. I'll be right back to take her out so we can get a better look at the hey guys, doll. I got everything out of the box and we're gonna go through everything. I know this is kind of weird to mention, but I just had to because I was, just thought it was funny. So when I was unboxing her, I don't like to cut through all the rubber bands because they can be reused for their hair. And sometimes I don't have rubber bands with me, so they're it's easy to use them. This one has like I guess some of her fabric, her neon yellow fabric on the rubber band and you can see that it like dyed the clear rubber band neon i just thought that was cool i just wanted to share but um yeah she comes with this neon first of all it was like green but it's like a neon yellow brush super cool i wish her doll stand was this color i like this color then she comes with this like metallic black stand she comes with three clips i put this one on then there's another one at the bottom then she comes with the bigger one I guess if they have like a big jacket or for the boys. Then she comes with her dance guide. It says virtual robot grooving fashion glow. It says loading at the top, the arrows. Yeah, two loading signs. I got her dancing with her split chaps. I know a lot of people don't like this. I think it's freaking hilarious. It makes you think of the 90s. Like that one music video. Okay, if I can get this open without ripping it. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, so it shows all her dance moves. This is the dance guy in the era. She's doing the robot, obviously, because she's supposed to be like 
not vaporwave, but like synth core. Um, yeah, like synth core slash, what's it called? Oh, my brain is not really working right now. Um, yeah, synth core slash cyber core, like futuristic type of stuff. My brain doesn't want to work, but I usually know the name of the aesthetic because I kind of like that aesthetic, but I would say it's a little bit vaporwave-ish, but not really. It's more a synth wave, mostly. That's what this is mostly is. Then she has this turquoise hat box. Let's turn it down. Let's move the doll to the side. We'll get into her last. Let's look what's inside the hat box. So I come with a little tissue paper with the same the detail on her box has. And, well, has. And she comes with the black light, but I'm not gonna pull the tape off because I have a bigger one. I didn't know this was like a click and stay because everyone else I seen it, they just was pressing it. I didn't know it was like, because everyone was like holding it to keep it black, but it actually stays on its own. I didn't know that. And it's like a spray can, it has like the chevron print and it's silver. And then she has her extremely cool visor. Like I like how it makes her eyes change color and it has the circuit board design. It has like this, um, plasticky polyester material. I know the type of this material. I used to call it zip zip material because when you touch it, it makes that zip zip noise. And super cool. And it's like translucent black at the top with these silver studs all around it. This is so awesome. If I seen these, I'd definitely buy a pair. And then her garment bag reminds me of like Tetris or like if you listen to techno or dubstep music, they'll have like this, and then when the beat drops, it goes like doop 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 doop, like up and down. And I'm careful with this bag, so hold on. I'm gonna have to do this to the side because I don't want to rip these at all because I like to keep them. Like I get so pee when people rip theirs, so it's always been nuts. She has a little jacket. Okay, because I don't feel like there's no need to take the hanger out because I don't need it. But it's like this translucent like. Not hot pink. I guess you could say that's hot pink. It's like a hot pink magenta color. I won't really need it, so I'm just gonna leave it in the bag. There we go. And it also had like a little boob, a plastic blue boob plate. But anyway, she comes with this cool bomber jacket, it's like cropped. And it has that like cheap dollar store princess dress material on the side. I forgot the name of this material. I always think it's pretty, but it's just so cheap the feeling. It makes like a crunchy plastic bag noise, but it's really cool and it suits her. And she has a black cuff. She has this like magenta trim, uh, the uh, faux zipper, the neon lime green stitching, lime green sleeves, and the back is plain. It would've been cool if she had like the vaporwave like sun on the back. That would've been cool in this jacket. And uh, let's get to the doll. Um, actually, yeah, so um, she has this magenta and light pink hair that is in twist and micro braids. Um, well, actually, I'm going to say micro braids because this would actually be large for this doll. So, just regular braids. Some of her twists are unraveling, but that's fine. That's what usually happens anyway. And let's get a good look at her face. She has these, like, plum purple kind of eyebrows that are pointed up. OMG eyebrows always crack me up because I've never seen someone's eyebrows look like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're kind of like pixelated. They're pointing up at the tip. Then she has yellow, green, and pink little pixels on the side of her face. And she has like this magenta pink at the top and this yellow at the bottom. She has this nice blushing at the cheeks. And she has this like berry color no not berry like like a plum kind of purple lipstick she has this mesh little top part of her um shirt that's like pink trim and it's yellow mesh it says extra on the shirt and has little white and like turquoise pixels with little arrows on it kind of reminds me of that dance game that's what she reminds me of and that's like it's a two-piece these are her shorts the little zippers, her little split chaps, the little pocket that does open. I think believe you could put something in there. Yeah, it's open. Mine's is open at least. 
and it has like this little not mesh but like chiffon tassel on her pockets on each side also she has a little belt i think it's so cool they gave her the little clasp so you can unbuckle it and buckle it my favorite part of this doll is the shoes they're turquoise magenta and like this neon yellow and they're very futuristic there's some shoes like this on doll scale i'll insert the picture if i can find it that are just similar to these and she's like it's like they're wedges but they have a little bit of a notch deep in them then we know the cool circuit board socks i'm not gonna take her shoes off but you can see that yeah it's just cool circuit board socks and yeah she's super cool i'm gonna get her fully dressed and get a better look her back this is pretty much everything with her on everything clothing related on like her jacket and stuff and i forgot to mention she has like these magenta nails and she has these aqua like aqua green eyes and she has like little plus signs in them and they're super cute and i didn't realize this because sometimes looking in the camera it alters what you're looking at the the zipper is actually like chrome on this side and it's like matte on the back and then like this part of the jacket i thought was black but it's actually kind of like a gray and it's kind of like that you hear that not velvety but it has like that like water retardant retardant oh my goodness like that um water retardant material like if you put water on it would like rip run off like has that type of material and i wanted to show you guys what she looks like like i think this is so cool my why my favorite part is the visor because when you ooh, hold on when you put it on her if it decides to go on her there you go it like her eyes glow through it can you see that it sounds better on in person but her eye her aqua green eyes glow through it and it's so freaking cool it's probably my lighting because it's kind of cloudy outside but yeah you see that i think that's so cool when i display her i'm probably gonna have it on top of her head because i like looking at her but yeah she's super pretty and like i said she has a high up a half up half down she has this ponytail with her twist wrap around it her rooting i see some people's rooting was not good mine was okay but oh so kind of <laughs> it's not gonna bother me that bad but you gotta think when people really have their hair twisted and braided like this their head really actually be like empty like that so and if they was to fill her whole head she'd be really heavy because these twists and braids are really heavy so i'm not um understanding why some are missing the hair hole but i do understand why they had to lightly root her because she would have been really heavy and she would have fallen for stand a lot but it doesn't mean that there should just be holes without hair on it either and i think it was pointless to give me a brush because really <laughs> and also let's also talk about the back of her box before we wrap up this video these omg videos i always be forgetting something i don't know why but like i said it's like synth wave kind of like aesthetic it's like new wave it's like this city but like futuristic these buildings the little like train ports is live music it has all this like glitching detailing on it and like building like little tetris blocks and then the floor looks like those grid grid floors and it's like all these little buildings and stuff super pretty and cool and yeah so that's virtual well overall she's like my second favorite um out of the dance line out of 10 i definitely give her a nine and a half the reason why she's not a 10 to me because i know these are supposed to be kind of like budgets but i wish they came in like a purse like miss royale's fan kind of felt like a purse in a way but like i know she comes with this visor but i would have liked that she always came with a purse or just something and i just i don't know i like her but she's just like not all that like i feel like they, they could have added a little bit more but it's whatever and also she has the same articulation as um miss royale like i showed in my first video but her legs are really more stiff than my virtual so i had a harder time because her leg is bent but usually the, these are bender snaps, so you would hear it. But with hers, I couldn't really hear it. But I was trying to make it like do the robot, but I'm gonna have to play with her a little bit. Maybe her joints are just stiff because I haven't played with her. And this is her first time being out of the box and being free. She was in prison. 
but yeah i don't think i missed anything else if not if i did i'll just insert it in but this is overall her one of her twists are coming out it's kind of bugging me but i like her she gets a 10 out of, um, not a 10 she gets a 9.5 out of me um but yeah she's a good doll i hope you guys enjoyed this video um feel free to tell me your thoughts do you like miss do you like virtual do you like omg dolls i've noticed lately omg dolls are declining in popularity ever since shadow high came out and i don't know i just keep seeing like back to back people keep trying to like open lawsuits on omg like if you haven't seen on instagrams these people are trying to say that they're copying them and i totally disagree like some things are similar but some of them like are stretched like we know some omgs are supposed to be inspired by celebrities but they're not copying like it's being inspired and copying is two different things like for instance the boss is like beyonce inspired they're not copying her they flat out flat out said they're inspired by her that's why they made the doll you know what i mean there's a difference and i think some people just trying to take anything and run with it because everyone's just trying to catch a check but anyway i'm just gonna collect omg dolls because i feel like soon they're probably gonna get canceled like they're gonna pull a novi star so I'm going to collect as much as I can before they probably get, like, taken off the of shelves. And MGA is smart for making Rainbow High because I feel like OMG is, like, we're at the last of OMGs. Because the point that it took this long for the sports dolls to come out and the sports dolls were supposed to come out in March, I think, like, OMG dolls are declining. And, like, soon we might hear them, like, get discontinued, which would make me sad because they finally grew on me. But I wouldn't be surprised. But I can make that in another video. I blabbed on long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, comment, tell me what you think of her. And yeah, thank you so much. And subscribe also if you feel like it. And thank you. Bye.